I know you guys been waiting for this video quite a bit. And finally, here it is. Comparison between Samsung Galaxy S6 and latest Galaxy S9. Are that few years difference bring some significant improvements in terms of camera performance? Before getting into the video, I want to add that any support is much appreciated. Subscribe and like this video so that I know you want this kind of videos on my channel. Both phones were set to 12 megapixels to match aspect ratio, HDR was set on auto on both and variable aperture in Galaxy S9 was set on auto as well, with one exception, but more on that later. Let's start. First of all, you can see that color temperature in Galaxy S9 is definitely warmer. Photo looks very punchy and vibrant, but I think S6 is little bit more natural and accurate looking. Once again, we can see that color difference. This time it's even more distinctive. I would say it's too much. Whole image looks very yellowish on the S9, but I cannot say it's bad, depends what you like. S6 is more natural looking once again. One of the most noticeable difference in daytime photo is how HDR mode works. I think it was updated from previous generation to match latest iPhone's dynamic range algorithm. And of course, you can argue, is it really better? Because it's very strong and it sometimes makes photo look artificial. I would like to see something a little bit more balanced and subtle. But in comparison with S6, I have to pick Galaxy S9 as a winner. As you can see, it provides excellent results when shooting in front of light source. This sculpture looks phenomenal on the S9. S6 is darker. With more saturation in S9, you also sometimes get darker photos like here. Slightly annoying thing. The oversaturation is probably the worst thing about camera in this model. Fortunately, I'm happy to say that previous famous Samsung digital sharpening is significantly reduced on new model. And I'm not talking about ability to capture details. I'm talking about that unnatural, cheap, software-looking sharpening which is visible is especially in the crop. This bark looks amazingly detailed on the S9, whereas a 6 photo in the crop looks like an over-sharpened mess. Moving to some macro pictures, at first glance this flower looks pretty good on both, but in the crop we can see the difference. Like I said earlier, Galaxy S9 photo has just more details, whereas S6 looks like it's sharpened in post-processing. Of course, that doesn't mean S6 is super bad, I'm just emphasizing that difference between these two models. As you probably heard, Samsung often brags about this variable aperture in their commercials. Camera can switch from f1.5 to f2.4 aperture and vice versa according to the condition. To be honest, I'm not fan of results. Many times, especially in macro, I thought camera would pick f1.5 aperture to provide nice and shallow depth of field, but it did unfortunately opposite thing. And as you can see here, difference between 2.4 and 1.5 aperture is really significant. Here, if we go into the crop, we can see how much noise and processing is involved in Galaxy S6 picture. S9 wins once again, with more amount of details and a deeper look. Same thing goes for this photo. Plenty of sharpness and details in the Galaxy S9. Now let's take a look on low light performance and I think there are not many changes compared to last year Galaxy S8. Galaxy S9 is definitely better than the S6, less noise, better details and just more accurate colors. In terms of video recording, one thing to note, I switch electronic image stabilization on in the S9, so you can truly see how good is that hybrid stabilization. Other than that, dynamic range is definitely on the higher level than the S6. Videos are also much sharper, but for me it's too sharp and aggressive. I would like to see something more balanced and neutral for video. In this department I cannot really decide and choose winner. 
However, that to be expected, low light recordings are for sure better on the S9, with less noise and brighter look. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know which one you prefer, because in my opinion Galaxy S6 held up pretty well, once again. If you want to see more comparisons with Samsung Galaxy S6 and other camera reviews, support my channel by subscribing and rating this video. Thank you for your support. See you in the next one.